Ladies and gentlemen, from the FlexCast Arena here in Miami, Florida, the time has arrived for our main event of the evening. Three rounds in the heavyweight division. The three judges score in our main event, a cage that will be Hector Gomez, Eliseo Rodriguez, and Vicente Rodriguez. Introducing to you first, fighting to my left, out of the blue corner, he stands in at six feet three inches tall, weighing in officially at 264 pounds. He nearly has 40 professional bouts to his dossier with the record that stands at 31 wins, opposite eight defeats, fighting out of Moscow, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, Dami Gaspadam, please welcome Sergey Hiratanov. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in officially at already 228 pounds. This combat sports knockout sensation enters tonight's mixed martial arts contest with a record of two wins against no defeats, fighting out of Deerfield, Florida, known as the King of the Ring. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Tyrone Spong. And your referee in charge, Andrew Glenn. Woo, baby. I can feel it in the air, gentlemen. Step back, step this back is a big one. You good? Step back, step back. Hang on, guys. Ready? You ready? Three five minute rounds in the heavyweight division. The left side of your screen, Sergey Haritanov on the right, Tyrone Spong. Don't blink. Don't take a piss break. Don't step away. This thing can end quite quickly. Hey, they both made contact. Sergey with a jab. Tyro with a fast and powerful inside leg kick. Sergey is not afraid to fight. Tyro's got to move his head. Yes, he does. And, and don't, and don't. Yes, he can't. He can't forget that he's a kickboxer. He can't forget that. I know he's been boxing for a long time, but you can't forget that you've got kicks too. Yeah, well, he used them. Leg kick and body kick well, right we on also, the money. We also, have, we also have to understand that Heratona right now is pressed because he wants to take down. This is exactly the position that he wants. I'm a little surprised at the lack of resistance. That was almost a push, uh, and it looked as though maybe there was a slip there by Tyrone, but he went oh, down. He's in danger. Right this, this is his position oh, here. This is his position here. Squeezing the head. This is his position here. Spong. All Sergey needs to do is stay here. Don't change the thing. Keep that lock and stay right here. The big bear, Sergey Heratanov. Spong called him a polar bear, said he was going bear hunting. Well, the bear's getting the best of him right now. Sergey's gonna wanna turn him. Gonna wanna turn him, put his head on the fence, get his feet off of it. There's a big position, a big opportunity right here for Hartanov. Yeah. Tyro's gonna have to find that cage and start to kind of wiggle himself out to use that cage to eventually get up. He needs he needs some type of base in order for him to start getting to his feet. Yeah, yeah, he has a he has a dude that's close to probably 300 pounds tonight. Oh, and that's yeah, hard. Tyro, Tyro, Tyro's, got, Tyro's got to put his back. He's got to sit up against that cage here because Heratonov is working his way up. He's working his way up high. Tyro's got to put his back up against the cage and look to try to work work his way back up. It's another day well, that in the is a office. Big, that is a big boy on yes, top. That is, is a big boy on top. Well, this is a mental relief for Haritana. Haritana certainly was a little worried to be on his watch feet. That arm here. He's found himself in a favorable position. So, oh, it's Spong brought back down. Spong needs to get to the cage, so he's doing a Ty better job. He's in a better yeah. position now than he was earlier. Tyrone's, Tyrone's doing a good job here, but he's got to look to at least get his back up against the fence and not. Still so much time on the clock here as Tyrone Spong underneath the big body of Sergei Heratanov, the Russian, he in control. Take, he, he's doing a good job, too, of conserving his energy here because he's not, he's not wasting too many of those big explosive movement there because he knows if he's able to make it out of this round, he's going to be fresh for that next round. 
Yeah, Sir, Sergey's in a great position. He's landed, he's somewhat rested, but also that size is doing the work. He doesn't have to sit up and score with the judges. He needs to make Tyrone work, and he's doing that. This is where the experience comes in, guys. Ty Tyrone's just gonna have to survive this round. He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to take that that's, L that's for round it. one because there, this, is, this is a big dude. This is a big, big dude. We're talking about a Brock Lesnar type big man for those who don't know who Heritonov is. He's a big guy, but Ty Tyrone stay calm here, as he should, because you don't want to panic here. They'd end up in a worse position. He needs to hold on here, either ride this round out or look to be able to shrimp out, push on one of those knees, and get back into ha a half guard. Well, he said getting back into MMA training was the hardest thing he's had to do just to do the wrestling and the BJJ practice. And now he is dodging punches from the big man, the paratrooper. Well, and think of, think of how tiring this is for Spawn. Right, you got anxiety right now. You got fear. You got a 300-pounder on top of you. There's a lot of things to think about that are taking the energy out of the tank. Meanwhile, Sergey, he's taking deep breaths. He's relaxing. This could pay off later should this fight see the second round. Continue to hug, continue to hug, look for the underhook. Find every position to eventually dive. I mean, he just has to rope a dope in there a little bit because that Herentanov is starting, he started to unleash a little bit here, but he needs to he needs to squiggle out, look for the underhook, find a way to hug him. Sergey unable to connect with a straight shot. That time punches right through the guard of Tyrone Sparn. We are at 30 seconds left in the round. How much longer? Can the King of the Rings survive? It seems Tyrone, like, it seems like Aaron Tom got a little tired, man. You think about it. That's, it. It's a little defeating when you're you're throwing, you're raining down heavy strikes, and you're not able to connect or get the guy out of there. And Tyrone's doing a good job. He just needs to hold on here and try to make it out of this round. But he well, can't he can't get lazy here and give up. Heritano is setting up that Americana. There is light at the end of the round here for Tyrone Spong, and it looks like he's going to make it. Round in the can. What a round for Sigur Heritonov. Well, Tyrone Spong springs out of his corner because he's ready to uh, right that wrong, right that wrong that was round number one. Can he keep the big bear off of him, Chael? It's not going to be easy. Heritonov walks right through strikes and he knows what the ticket is to victory tonight. It's getting Spong on the ground. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, and, and the one thing, the takedown's very effective as we just saw, but guys, the threat of a takedown is equally as debilitating to a heavy striker. Tyrone Spawn is going to think twice now before he throws anything, and Sergey's got his marching orders. And Sergey just went back to the well. He tried to shoot for the takedown, but that goes to show you how improved Tyrone's takedown defense is. Ha would they have been a takedown in that first if it wasn't for him catching that kick? Yeah, but this is the thing, guys, is because this guy is so big, Tyrone Spurs doesn't have to take his chances on his feet, and it has to start now. You don't want that big body on top of you for another five minutes. This is what you pay for, folks. We talked about it. It's live. It's free on Flex. But you gave us your time. You gave us a chance, and we are giving you a slugfest in the middle of our Eagle FC cage. Tyrone Spawn looking to battle back. Heratonov willing to stand and trade. And Spawn can't wait, guys. The time is now. Don't be as heavy on the he's kick. Be real heavy down. on the hands. You can tell he's literally loading up. He's waiting for a kick, Henry. As long as Tyrone uses the hands and not the kicks, it's going to shut down some of Sergi's options. Keep it in the middle. If, if, if Tyrone Spawn is able to keep it in the middle, the, 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 the advantage goes on his side. But he cannot allow him to press or be on bottom. This is, a, this is a battle of distance right now. Whoever yep. wins the distance is going to win the fight. Yeah, but one thing that Tyrone is doing very, very well is, is Sergey's doing a good job of Ooh. covering up, and those shots aren't getting through. So Tyrone's moving him. Get him to move his feet with you. Then those jabs start to land just like daggers, straight to the face. Sergey needs to keep this pressure, guys. Get him into the fence. Go ahead and push him in there. Clinch him. Get your hands on him. Yeah, he, need, he needs that jab to continue to keep putting it at bay because it allows him to be at distance. Here we go oh, again. Man. Back to square one for the king of the ring. He was waiting on that mistake. This is Maritonov the was hunting and he got his man. And Cyrus, this is the position Kamar Uzma was talking about in the first round. Right now, Tyron needs to He's get his back on the fence, start gaining, gaining elevation, start doing what we call a wall walk. He can't sit here and rest. He's got to get those shoulder blades. You don't want your head on the fence. You want your shoulders on it. Great yeah, transition. And you see Sergey going in for that north-south north choke there. 
position. Mataro's got to stay calm here. He's got to look. Whenever he gets a, 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 a gets a chance, it gets any type of time, he's got to be able to get his back up against that cage and start to shrimp up. But I think he's almost in a crucifix position here. Expect Sergey to try to go for a full mount, and oh, he's there. Oh, and he's right oh back this in there. is trouble. Bad news here for Spong. Heraton up in full mount. And Sergey can either just settle his weight, make Tyron do a bunch of work, or he can sit all the way up and start to pick these shots very deliberately like he did at the end of the first. My goodness, man. How long can you dodge him, Kamaru? Wow, and Sergey just did something very, very good. You see him, he stepped over with one and knee. This fight is over. Heritana gets the win. Main event victory in Eagle FC 44. And to many, he just upset the King of the Rings return to the sport. The paratrooper comes out on top. Is it a good call? I think it was the right call. He grabbed a hold of the arm, took away the defense jail. Good play by Heratonov, a smart play by the Russian. The story of this fight was not just the grappling versus the striking. Your eyes might have told you that, but it wasn't. Listen, Sergey mixed it up on his feet. Sergey had just as many jabs. Sergey has just as many slips. That was a very tackle fight uh, by Sergey. And yes, the stoppage was fair. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 55 seconds of the second round. A referee in charge, Andrew Glenn, waves off the contest for your winner by TKO victory, Sergey.